What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there today, and I would assume you are because we have confirmation that the Brawl Talk is coming out tomorrow. And of course, over on the Brawl Stars social media, a fun little teaser was given to us, giving us a tiny bit of an insight as to what this Halloween theme might be for the update. And of course, like we always do in this video a day before the Brawl Talk, we'll take a look at the thumbnail, break it down, see if there's anything noteworthy for you guys to take away from it before the Brawl Talk actually comes. So hopefully you guys are all excited for the Brawl Talk and today's video. With that being said, let's get straight away into it. Here we go! So we're starting off today's video over on the Brawl Stars Twitter page where they tweeted out the fun little teaser saying Brawl Talk is tomorrow and it looks really, really exciting. They only tweeted it out with just a candle emoji, but let's take a look at this. So it looks like the setting of this fun little teaser is like downtown Mexican vibes with a lot of awesome decorations that remind me of Day of the Dead, which is a Mexican holiday that they celebrate the same exact day as Halloween, where it's a holiday to remember the dead and you have a lot of people dressing up with face paint and costumes that are very similar to Poco in a sense. So with the introduction of this new fire brawler, I'm assuming the Mexican trio is going to be rounded out to make it a group of three like the other families in the game. So we'll have Primo, Poco, as well as the newest fire brawler. And it just kind of makes sense if this Brawloween theme for the update is going to be Day of the Dead to have characters such as El Primo and Poco. Primo is a wrestler, so he's wearing a mask, but it just kind of fits that setting. And Poco literally embodies the Day of the Dead. But next, everybody, I would like to break down the thumbnail. We have the silhouette of the newest fire brawler here coming in the update, as well as its rarity pasted right on the bottom of the thumbnail. Since I'm looking at it through the photos, it's kind of big and enlarged. But as you can see, it says legendary and guys I know it kind of stinks that the news brawler is going to be a legendary but it has been a very very long time since we've had another new legendary brawler in Brawl Stars I believe it's been over a year now since then it's one of the lowest number of brawlers within a rarity besides uh, the rare rarity right but taking a look at the silhouette here a lot of people are thinking that it's going to be a girl brawler um, based on just the overall body features as well as they look like they're wearing earrings and stuff like that but hey we'll have to wait and see on that front but it looks like the weapon that they are holding is some sort of torch so it looks like the flames are going to be emitted from that and it looks like they're wearing a headband and their hair resembles a flame too as it's going up so I'm assuming the hair is going to be red and stuff like that but I'm really excited to see like the animations how they attack and things along those lines it's going to be a lot of fun now within the thumbnail there's a few other tiny little things that people pointed out like this small little flame in the A. I think that's funny. <laughs> a small little thing to add there in the thumbnail. Pretty dang cool as well as way in the back here. People pointed this out. Um, there's like a bottle of some sort or maybe a gasoline tank. Maybe that's what the torch is uh, fueled from with a little emblem there that we've actually seen in the past. So taking a look at a tweet from Advertisement Guy here within the Piper animation we actually had this emblem or logo pop up within it which is very very strange the piper animation was such a long time ago so again we see the brawl stars dev team with their very forward thinking preparations for updates to come right in the game the very first thing i thought this was when i first saw the piper animation was just the incendiary star power but it's a little bit different from that you got the two spikes and the middle flame is a tiny bit different it's a lot more accurate to the photo um, that we saw in the thumbnail as you can see with incendiary it's just a tiny bit different than the logo within the Piper animation, though I would welcome strongly a case that uh, they're the same exact thing, right? I'm not going to totally write that off. I just found it a little bit interesting and thought I'd bring it up with all of you guys. And like we always do in these types of videos, I always love to see just how long the Brawl Talk is before it airs. Whenever a premiere is scheduled, you can always Google search it and see the length of it before it actually premieres. And it looks like we have it being 3 minutes and 26 seconds, so a very average length Brawl Talk that we can come to expect from examples of past Brawl Talks here in the Brawl Stars community. The only thing that got me worried when I was first searching this was another Star Park related thing right coming in this one. <laughs> the last one being or the last Brawl Talk being like nine minutes long or something like that. So expect just a normal Brawl Talk this time around right three minutes and 26 seconds. I believe the last normal Brawl Talk here was the um, Summer of Monsters which was three minutes and 49 seconds. So pretty 
similar. So next transitioning over to what the community is saying here about the new legendary fire brawler coming in this next update. I found this post by Sir Tooney, their rendition of what they think the new brawler is going to look like. And I think it fits fairly well, right? It matches pretty much so perfectly. Of course, it's probably going to be a little bit different than this, but at least we have a general idea here coming from Sir Tooney. So it's really, really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what this brawler is and does. Also, a few other posts that I've been seeing is people a tiny bit disappointed, almost like a meme disappointed that it is a legendary brawler, though we need more legendary brawlers in the game. Like I said before, it's been quite some time, but I'm welcoming the rarity. I think it's going to be a lot of fun seeing a new legendary brawler and their intricate mechanics. As you all know, the rarities in Brawl Stars are determined by how intricate their mechanics are. The higher you go up in rarities, the more weird their mechanics are and harder to play in most respects. So we have Spike, Crow, Leon, and Sandy kind of fitting that bill. So I am very excited to see just what this newest brawler does. Their mechanics are going to be somewhat weirder, probably a new mechanic coming to the game that I think we can all really look out for, and it should be a lot of fun to discover how they fit into the meta. Based on the newest brawlers that we've been getting in the game, though they have been chromatics, their mechanics have all been introducing something different, something exciting into the game. So as they're setting these standards with their newest brawlers, I'm really excited to see what this brawler is going to do. So as we're approaching the end of today's video, I just want to go over my general idea of what to expect to come in this update. We already kind of touched on this in previous episodes, but you can 100% believe that the older Halloween skins are coming back to the game. So if you're a fan of Werewolf Leon, the skin for Piper, or the Witch Shelly skin, those are most definitely going to be coming back. So save up your gems if you like those skins because they are limited in a sense. And we're probably going to be getting other Halloween skins that match the theme, right? Day of the Dead. So be on the lookout for those coming around the corner as well. But then in terms of bigger implementations here for the update, I'm not quite sure. It's kind of a toss in the air. We really don't know quite yet because we can't go off of anything that we've had previously because we haven't had an example of an update coming out in between two different seasons of the Brawl Pass. So really, we can only cling to the things that were given in the last Brawloween update, right? The newest Brawler, a few new skins. We had a new game mode come back to the game that was rebranded branded from Life Leech, but was called Graveyard Shift, and it was a really fun game mode, so we might be able to see something like that come back to the game, or something at that level, right? Um, since this is an update in between the seasonal updates, which is more bigger updates in my personal opinion, I couldn't see huge implementations coming for this update. But hey, I would welcome being presently surprised on that end, but that's where my mind is going here for what is going to be coming in this update here. So to kind of wrap up today's video, I wanted to bring this up. There's been an ongoing theory for quite some time now with these candles in the newest environment that I failed to bring up with all of you guys here in previous theory crafting videos on the channel, but it just kind of makes sense now, you know what I mean? With the candles being hinted in the tweets as well as the candle in the fun little teaser, and now this brawler kind of imitating a candle, having that flame on the head and things along those lines, but there was something in game where if you played with Rosa and Primo, the candles would flicker in a strange way, or if you stood on a certain tile um, and El Primo kind of fitting into that theme right uh, the whole Mexican trio kind of makes sense um, and it only worked with those two other brawlers but it's really cool to know that the dev team kind of hints out things for future updates in the environment it's not like we're going crazy or anything like that when we're trying to find little small Easter eggs in the newest environments that come each update so I found that cool maybe our efforts aren't just um, in the wind or useless <laughs> but yeah guys that's just about it for today's video I wanted to touch base on what the community is saying about all of this craziness with the Brawl Talk coming out tomorrow as well as my impressions of the newest Brawler. Being a legendary Brawler, I think they're going to be a lot of fun here in the game and it's been quite some time since we've had one, though it's going to be rough on uh, on the bank account, guys. Gemma Ray is coming back in action, you already know, but it should be fun. I really enjoyed the Halloween updates, the Brawloween vibe here in Brawl Stars. I think it's going to be a really, really exciting update. Hope you guys are all excited. I'm going to be covering everything in its entirety like we normally do here on the channel when updates come around so be sure to stay tuned on that front but yeah if you did enjoy the video be sure to slap a like on it i'd really really appreciate that and with that being said make sure to keep having fun with brawl stars have a fantastic rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video peace out you guys